So for week five for motivation, um, when I came across this and was starting to put together, put together stuff for this week, um, the biggest thing that I thought about was the book I read. It starts with why. If you haven't read it, highly recommend it. You know, you don't need to do it for this class, but I'm just saying I highly recommend that book. Um, it really breaks down, you know, why we do things the way we do. Um, just to that one specific question of why, not how we're doing it, not what we're going to do to get there, but actually why we're doing it. I think that is kind of, in my opinion, the essence of what your motivation is. Um, and trying to figure that out with your athletes can be very difficult, especially in a team-based setting. Um, but, and I'll say this, I'm probably in some of the later weeks as well. To me, being a good coach, the biggest thing is developing those relationships with your athletes. Um, you know, again, with the team, it's hard. So sometimes those relationships have to be developed with the, um, the team leaders and then utilizing them to kind of uh, listen to what the team's going through or listen to what individuals are going through because they might not approach you directly. They might approach those team captains. The team captains can approach you. But again, building those relationships, like I said earlier, um, your athletes, your clients aren't just a robot and where we're going through and giving them numbers, they're people too. So those relationships can help a ton with the motivation um, and they can help a ton with you know, just knowing why somebody wants to do something um, so making sure we're building those, I think, is honestly the biggest key for for this um, for this week.